ஹாய் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அலெக்ஸ் இயர் இப்போ நம்ம சென்டர் ஆஃப் எக்ஸலன்ஸ் ஐஓடியில் இருக்கோம் ஸோ சென்டர் ஹெட்டை மீட் பண்ணி நம்ம ஐஓடியை பற்றி கேட்டு தெரிஞ்சுக்க போகிறோம் ஹலோ சார் ஹலோ சார் சார் இப்போ கோர் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் படிக்கிறதுக்கும் இப்போ கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் வித் ஸ்பெஷலைசேஷன் ஐஓடி படிக்கிறதுக்கும் என்ன டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் இதனால் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ்க்கு என்ன அட்வான்டேஜஸ் இருக்கு டெஃபினெட்லி சார் தேல் பி அ ஹியூஜ் லெவரேஜ் வென் கம்பேர்ட் வித் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் தோஸ் ஆர் ஸ்டடிங் அலோன் வித் சிஎஸ்சி அண்ட் ஸ்பெஷலைசேஷன் வித் ஐஓடி so the prime leverage what they'll get here in savitha engineering college is that so students will get definitely a hands on experience with different hardwares uh, state of the art hardwares that we have it here especially on the arm uh, as well as on the lora lora van so they'll be uh, understanding different sensors actuators and real time hardware uh, that they'll be programming using some programming uh, development tools and they'll be transferring the entire uh, data that they have collected Uh, through uh, a proper gateway so they will be understanding about the gateway modules as well plus uh, they will be understanding on how to configure different servers especially network and uh, uh, what do you say application servers together so these leverages definitely they'll get so students will ultimately get on uh, hands on uh, uh, basically on the hardware as well as the software so but in csc they might get uh, a hands on with the software part alone and uh, here uh, since we are dealing with the data so uh, more or less all the data what they collect they have to format it so that knowledge also they'll definitely get sir so that's the prime leverage what they get so what are the trainings given by savita engineering college for students so here in uh, savita engineering college we have uh, state of the art facilities uh, on the different hardware modules that are compatible with lora van so the the it, which is industrially accepted uh, protocol so uh, we have uh, arduinos uh, integrated with lora van then uh, arm controller boards that are uh, integrated with uh, lora van plus we have both indoor and outdoor uh, servers uh, uh, gateway compatible servers then uh, we have indoor gateways as well as outdoor gateways so these gateways also students will understand how the data movement is happening from uh, from the hardware to the uh, gateway so that they learn uh, through programming Uh, we have different ides for programming these hardware so they they will be working on different ides uh, that are compatible with the hardware plus they will be understanding about different uh, iot gateways as well so how to configure a gateway how to uh, what do you call integrate the gateway with the uh, internet plus uh, how to integrate the entire gateway system using some server so from server how the data movement will happen on to the application server for visualization so these things they will be learning here at this campus uh, so apart from this they will be understanding about the hardware and the software part how to integrate the hardware and software so they will be learning mostly the electronics plus the hardware controllers plus the gateways as well as the servers so these are the trainings that we give on which students will be working hands on sir per enna na projects la in generally in the iot la irukku and nama college la vanda enna na projects la pannirukanga so now uh, here in savitha engineering college uh, we have uh, different domains basically so students will be working on different domain based projects for example agriculture students might be working with agricultural projects that requires iot plus uh, csc students might work on projects which are associated with iot similarly mechanical students will work on projects which are associated with iot so uh, savita engineering college provides a huge uh, platform for those who are working with iot uh, recently our students uh, have participated in one of the competition that has been conducted by uh, st which is a prime chip manufacturer for iot devices uh, their project is about uh, gate pattern recognition so there they have participated initially in the first phase they have cleared and they have entered into the second phase and in the final phase they have uh, presented their work uh, using the same hardware that we are training uh, for the students they worked on it and uh, we are happy to announce i mean the stm has announced uh, uh, and we have been placed in the runner up so it's an uh, national level competition so out of around like 800 colleges our college uh, stood in the second place so that's a big thing what our students have achieved so they'll get a huge uh, platform here for working for the real time projects especially சார் இப்போ ஒரு ஸ்டூடெண்ட் கோர்ஸ் சூஸ் பண்ணும்போது அதோட ஸ்கோப் எப்படி இருக்கும் ஃப்யூச்சரில் அந்த ஜாப் எப்படி இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு ஒரி பண்ணுவாங்க இப்போ இந்த கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் வித் ஐஓடி ஸ்பெஷலைசேஷன் அப்படின்னு படிக்கும்போது இதோட ஃப்யூச்சர் எப்படி இருக்கும் சார் சார் வென் இட் கம்ஸ் டு ஃப்யூச்சர் கரண்ட்லி நவ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ஆல் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் தே ஹேவ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி ஃபோர் பாயிண்ட் டூ 
the primary reason why students should choose a course like this is uh, first thing now there is a huge scope that industry will definitely uh, shift to industry 5.0 where the the current cyber physical systems has to be integrated with iot now uh, systems which are supposed to be integrated with iot before uh, going for this students should have knowledge on this so if they get this knowledge while they are doing their bachelors definitely it would be a big leverage for them so definitely they'll get placed in companies which are planning to shift for industry 5.0 so that we are at uh, savita engineering college we are teaching uh, with the scope of industry 5.0 so definitely students will get a bigger advantage plus they'll be learning with hands on projects sir here it's not just we teach and they learn so they will be working on different real time projects so that is one big advantage for students who generally takes uh, courses uh, with the iot so and moreover not only the students uh, who belongs to a particular category can take this course but they can choose for example a mechanical uh, guy who wants to take uh, a cse or maybe iot with as a specialization so they can definitely choose this course because we'll be teaching uh, the fundamentals and the middle level courses plus the advanced courses so the entire course is uh, uh, course curriculum is designed in such a way that students will understand the basics then the middle end uh, related courses plus the advanced courses so that's the biggest advantage sir sir if in the iot center of excellence only it is only accessible to computer science department students or it is open to all the other departments also uh, Uh, definitely it will be open for every uh, department because now it is not just uh, one branch of students can learn a particular course so here students who are studying mechanical can opt this course triple e can opt this course uh, ec can opt this course csc people can opt this course or it people can opt this course the re- the prime reason is the curriculum is framed uh, in such a way that students can learn the fundamentals initially then uh, the advanced level so because of this bridge students can easily uh, gets adapted to this course and they can learn from the beginning to the the actual uh, proficiency level will be better if they uh, the, the most of the students will have this confusion sir as you asked so this the I'm, i belong to mechanical engineering can i take an iot course definitely because nowadays just a mechanical engineer cannot serve the real time uh, projects or real time issues so there should be some integration along with the mechanical system and the cyber physical system so here we we teach them both so how to use a mechanical system so they'll be learning in their core course and how to use uh, a basic motor in the triple e and then they can integrate that with iot in the iot integrated courses so nare students oda first preference in the computer science department suppose ipo savita la undu enak and the department kedaikala and i get other departments like ec or mechanical other branches irukku but i want to work in the computer domain abdinum bodu adukku undu inga possibilities iruka definitely sir there will be a huge quality uh, possibility here at uh, savita engineering college uh, the prime reason is curriculums that are framed for ec can be accessed by the people who are studying in csc so that uh, advantage is there so for example an ece course can be taken by a csc person so that they can learn that course for example antenna design so antenna design can be taken by a csc engineer as well uh, similarly you take uh, uh, electronics electronics can be taken by uh, a csc guy or an it guy uh, the prime reason is the curriculum is made in such a way that so there are certain specific courses which are allocated for this so those courses they can take sir it's not a big problem and moreover they have to learn because Uh, with just a computer knowledge they cannot uh, uh, get through the the current generation requirements so that's the reason we have framed the curriculum in such a way that everybody has access to almost all the curriculums so it's an open curriculum system moreover so other departments like mechanical so avangalum undu in the computer related ah irukadala they can learn through this center of excellence yes sir they can definitely learn through this center of excellence uh, and moreover we have the state of the art of lora so which is industry like accepted and uh, india is also having that sd we have a specific radio frequency where iot should be used in india with this frequency so we have got that uh, permission and uh, lora is uh, available with us so because of that leverage we can teach the students uh, which is actually the industrial requirement so industry requirement will be there for the current generation 
so if we teach with the in par with the industry then students will get a better chance to get placed in the industry so that's the prime advantage sir thank you so much thank sir. you so much sir.